A memorial was held today honoring a World War II submarine that was lost in 1944. 13 on your side's uh, Liliana Murillo was there for today's service. Here at the Silver Sides Museum in Muskegon, after nearly 80 years, there was a moment of closure for the families of the 85 sailors who were lost on the USS Albacore. The USS Albacore submarine, active in World War II, served 11 war patrols and was lost with all hands, meaning no one from the crew survived. Nelson Kelly Jr., Geneva, New York. Since 1944, families of those who were on the submarine have been left with little to no information about what happened. My father was an officer on the Albacore. Uh, I was born two months after the Albacore was lost in uh, November of 1944. I always wanted to know where his final resting place was. Last year, 78 years after the Albacore sank, researchers found parts of the submarine off the shores of Japan. To not have any communication and not have your brother come back, I just can't describe that. Now, family members are closer than ever before to learn more. It really means a lot to know where, the, where their family members ended up. The stories have flowed down through their families, from their moms and dads every Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. They pray for them, they talk about them, they tell their children about them. Now, Mary and Jim researched the history of the submarine and the veterans who were on it to connect more families to their sailors. This me uh, meeting the memorial service today is very meaningful to me because it uh, allows me to be here with the other people who also lost relatives on the Albacore and allows me to have that, I guess you'd say, final sense of closure that you look for when you've lost your dad. To learn more about the history of the submarine and the fallen sailors, you can visit oneternalpatrol.com. Reporting in Muskegon, Liliana Murillo, 13 on your side.